Hey, good morning. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Uh, a little confident, a little nervous. Feeling good, though. Which teams have you talked to or have talked to you so far? Uh, I've got 21 formal interviews. So I've talked to Giants. The, I did not miss today. The Giants, Colts, the um, Green Bay, uh, Patriots, Packers. Um, I was like, it was a long night last night. <laughs> um, who else? Raiders? Raiders. I thought the Raiders were the first day I got here. Okay. Uh, Detroit. Um, Seahawks. Seahawks. <laughs> Bills. Y'all just. Is this a drinking game? Not the Cowboys. It's actually like a drinking game. <laughs> yeah, with the Chiefs, too. Um, not the Broncos yet. Um, but yeah, it's been exciting. Um, thank you. I still got nine more to go. So. Um, that's how it's going, though. It's like speed dating. What part of your game is... I'm sorry, go ahead. TCU's put so many good defensive players into the NFL over the years. What is it about Gary Patterson and his system that prepares players to be able to excel at the next level? Yeah, um, Coach P, the way he coaches and the way that we do defense is different. I feel like we do defense like no other team in the country. Um, the way we prepare ourselves for the week as far as studying games, studying players, strategies, play. We play play, so each game is like a game of check, uh, chess. So I think the preparation that we do is for the next level because um, it's much more simpler, I, I believe, what I've been told. Um, our defense is quite complicated in some ways, um, and it can help you in so many ways and make you a better football player mentally and, of course, smarts. Why, why football not best? I'm just trying to do it. <laughs> uh, football is just my first love. Um, I've been playing football since I was five. Um, it's been just the sport that I've just gravitated to my whole life. I played five sports growing up, so football was just the one that I just fell in love with. Why is that? Considering obviously your, your dad and all. Mm -hmm. I, I, he just never really pushed me to be a basketball player. He told me if I wanted to do it, then I'll do it. Um, but he never pushed me to be a basketball player. He knew football is where I wanted to be. I think football is, I mean, basketball is just too soft for me. Um, so, how many, how many cutters games have you seen? Uh, a lot. Uh, I would say since he's been in Houston, has traveled around, and I've been in another state. I'd say about about close to 10, 15. Growing up, I've seen a couple. But, did he ever like get you part of the tricks or anything? Did I ever do any? Yeah. Did you, did you ever have any role at all in the games? Nah, just spectating. I wish I did. That'd have been pretty cool though. You got like the confetti thrown on you or something? Yeah, maybe I'll go in the game and throw a like, do a trick shot or something. I wish though. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm proud of him. Um, as some people know, he's the first African American basketball player at the University of Texas. Um, I just try to fill those shoes for him um, and for my family. I'm um, super proud of him. I wish I could be there. I wish he could see what I'm going through, but it's more important for him to do what he's doing. Um, I support him to the far. Just, um, you know, it's my pops, so I love him to death. Ross, third and six, third and eight. Got to get to the quarterback. What's your go-to move? Go-to move, probably club rip or like a chop, uh, chop rip, something like that. Um, something quick, somewhere I can remove hands quick. Um, I've got to try to work some technique and stuff, so pinpoint wrists, elbows, hands, something that I can, you know, work an edge off of, man. What kind of fan, what kind of team, what kind of player are fans getting in you? Definitely, for, um, teams and fans are going to get a leader. Um, I have that natural born leader as a player. It's something that just grew upon me as an athlete. Um, a guy that's going to be accountable at all times, holds people to a high standard like myself. I would want people to hold me to a high standard just like I would hold them to a higher standard as well. Um, a guy that just wants to be great. Um, I see people in the NFL, some of the greatest athletes in the world, and I just want to be in that same topic of I don't do it for money. I mean, of course, you know, you get paid a lot of money, but I just do it for the passion of football. You think it's a question. Who's your favorite player? Aaron Donald. Favorite old school player is John Randall, though. Oh, yeah. You talk about the complexities of TCU's defense. Mm -hmm. They move a lot of players around on the defensive line. Where's your comfort level playing zero tech, playing with nose tackle, as well as three tackle? Yeah, so our defense, you got to be able to play both. So I play three and I play the zero. We play, it's called nose, but either way. But you got to be able to be comfortable to play both because when they shift or back shift or tight end set shift or whatever the case may be, you got to be able to flip sides and be able to play 
both sides of the ball. Um, I'm comfortable with, with any part of the line, in, nose, three tech, any of those, but I'm more, I'll see myself in the NFL playing three tech. Was your system single gap or two gap? Uh, single, single and two, we do ground on both. Just won the Super Bowl. How fun would it be to meet a team that's like that with like Chris Jones and Ray Clark? That'd be pretty good. Um, congrats again to the Chiefs. That was a good Super Bowl win. Uh, that'd be pretty cool though. Um, just being that same same rooms, those guys like Tyron Matthews and all the um, all the guys like those. Um, it'll be actually pretty fun. I like Andy Reid. I think I I'm happy he got him one. Uh, he deserves it. I know the city of Kansas really just uh, really wanted it. So. Um, they're good. They're a great team. Great coaches. What was the process and the journey like? Uh, no, I haven't met with the Buccaneers yet. Uh, yes. Uh, a little bit, not not as much, um, but a little bit. Yeah, it looks like a real explosive defense. Like you said, a lot of blitz, a lot of blitz and stuff. It's real electric. Um, they get to the quarterback and get to the ball. Um, that'll be actually pretty fun. I, that's what I'm more used to because at TCU, we blitz a lot. We blitz on first down, second down. We'll blitz a whole drive. Um, so I feel like it's something I'll be comfortable with. Hey, Ross, what are you going to miss? Yeah, um... 2018, I tore my left Achilles. It was it was kind of rough at first, but I just had that mindset that you had to go through something to get back to where you want to be. You can't just mope around. You can't just be sad and be mad at the world. Um, I went from working out in the mornings with therapy early at 6, 7 a.m. to middle midday workouts, routine workouts, and then at night I'll go do my own workout. Um, probably at the rink or I'll go on the field or just sand pit at my school and just do my own types of workouts. I'll do those the whole entire summer. And I know a lot of people ask me about my weight and I'm surprised I was 290. I played this whole year at 290. Uh, I mean, I know it may not have looked like it, but um, that's kind of how it was. Um, but it was it was a rough process at first, but I got through it. I actually came back seven in seven months. I was scheduled to be I cleared in nine months, but I came back in seven. Um, I haven't had a problem with my Achilles since the day I've torn it. Hasn't been an issue, no setbacks, no restrictions, no anything. Hey, where did that determination come from?